Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, tomorrow, join me with uh, Linda McCartney. Uh, basketball great grandmama Larry Johnson will be here sitting in with the posse. Yeah, well, you can come back. Uh, <laughs> sitting in with the posse is Dave Koz tomorrow night, and Academy Award winner Michael Caine will be here. That'll be a lot of fun. And I thank all of you for uh, participating in that conversation we just had. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. I, I'm very proud of the mayor. I'm very proud of my brother. He ran, brother ran out of money and said, I'm going to walk my way to victory. Where are my tennis shoes? Yes. <laughs> yes. Keep kicking, man. Uh, my next guest is becoming very, very hot these days. Uh, she even has her own exercise video coming out. Uh, it'll be out December 10th. It's called Body in Progress. Damn, look at the body. Uh, <laughs> you know it's Kelly on the hit series, Beverly Hills 90210. Here's a clip for you. <laughs> you screw up a few times. Everybody thinks that's who you are. All you'll ever be. Even when you try to do the right thing. It just makes you wonder if it's worth it, you know? It's all worth it. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be here right now. Please welcome Jenny Garth. about fans people who love the show do they ever write you with like uh problems that you can help them with oh wow they write all the time i get so many fan letters as a, i'm sure you do um mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> i answer some of yours though <laughs> thank you i need all the help i can get yeah, you're who, who does yours your your family my family my mom my sister my cousin it's like a family thing that way, you know, everyone thinks that I don't really read them. And now I have members of my family actually reading them and, and going over them and making sure that there are no weirdos and making sure that there aren't people that really do need help. And, and we go through it. And if they do need help, we refer them to people that can help them, you know. Now, now why not a doctor? Why would they write to you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's great that they do, but I don't have any answers. I mean, I'm still going through all that stuff myself, you know. I'm still, I'm just 20. I'm just a child. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I'm meeting you, and um, I don't get to watch this show every week, but I, I, I've seen the show. Now, here you're this sweet girl. They tell me you're engaged. You're 20 years old. You're pretty shy. If I'm not mistaken on the show, you're like a slut. <laughs> Is that, because like I said, I don't see it every week. But the week I saw it was like... I was a slut that week. Yes. <laughs> baby is a hoe. You know what I mean? And you were wild. How do you balance that? How do you get into that character? You know, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good time. I have a real good time doing it. Um, I, I grew up in such a different way than my character did on the show mm -hmm. that I, I just have a great time doing it and, and like fantasizing about, you know, having all this stuff. But as far as her, her being... A slut and a hoe and all that. <laughs> she's she's modified now. She's trying to get through all of that and, and learning from her mistakes. Yeah. She's not so bad anymore. Yeah, I, I was um I live in the Beverly Hills area and we get a Shannon Darty newsletter every morning. And uh I, I reach in my mailbox and um, I get this. Uh, as Shannon was leaving a nightclub this morning, she got into a fight with another woman. The police charged them both with misdemeanor battery charges, and they both are scheduled to appear in court later this month. Um, you don't even hang out that much, right? Uh -uh. Maybe well, you I should keep her there. home with you. Keep her at home. Yeah, I don't think I can, actually. She loves going out and stuff. Um, uh, to each his own. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like clubs and all that kind of stuff. Well, you probably don't like fist fights either, huh? I'm not really into fist fighting. <laughs> Actually, we do brawl once in a while on the set, but, you know, that's, that's fun. She has a mean left hook, though, so I feel sorry for that girl. 
You know, <laughs> Shannon's very nice when she comes here, but you read all this stuff about her. Give us the 411. Nice girl or bitch? What's up? <laughs> All you gotta do is say, nice girl. <laughs> uh, nice, nice girl. <laughs> no, I swear. Shannon and I have had our problems. I respect her for a lot of reasons. And, um, now, what, what are some of those reasons? She's a very stro strong woman. Mm -hmm. Not just physically. Mm -hmm. um, she's strong in every sense of the word. She's very smart and most of the time. And um, I respect her for a lot of reasons. And we do have our problems, but... It's like we all kind of pull through and get, get together when the work has to be done. Yeah. And I do admire her about, you know, that about her. And that's what's important, that team effort. Absolutely. It's like the Brady Bunch where I work. We fight and we get together and, you know. And, and the guys are cool? Yeah. Luke, I, I know Luke is cool. I know him. Jason, yeah. what, what is he like? Jason's a great guy. I've known Jason for a while. He's kind of like a big brother figure. He's nice to everyone and he's very friendly, mm -hmm. very willing to help you through okay. everything. He's great. Okay, we'll take a commercial and come right back with more. Jenny Garth. Of 90210 fame. Uh, it airs Wednesday nights, Fox, 8 o'clock p.m. Do you have a nickname? <laughs> Do you have a nickname? Uh, I'll make up one if you tell me yours. Um, I always used to be Puddles when I was younger because I cried, like, all the time. Yeah. And my sisters would call me Puddles. Now, why did you cry? Sad childhood? No, I had a great child. I was just boiled rotten. Oh. <laughs> and I was a baby, and, you know, if I cried, I got my way. <laughs> but that doesn't work anymore, so I'm not Puddles anymore. I'm Booger now. Wait, who calls you Booger? <laughs> Everybody at work. I don't know how that happened. I'm just Booger. My mom doesn't like it very much. Sorry, Mom, but... <laughs> oh, th that's Booger. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> I don't know. Do, do, during your breaks, do you sit under the couch? And what Booger? <laughs> 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 Shoot, brother. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. What does your boyfriend call you? He calls me lots of things. <laughs> um, I don't know. He calls me Pump. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I got a feeling that's not a Reebok reference. Uh, ouch. <laughs> like short for pumpkin. Oh yeah, yeah. Pump. yeah, yeah. Punk, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of guy is he? I'm sure the men here would like to know. He's a great guy. He's uh, backstage holding my new little puppy that he bought me for Christmas, an uh, early Christmas present. Mm -hmm. He bought me an Akita, and oh, she's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh. Everybody together now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and he's, um, he's a musician, and he's brilliant. Yeah. What does he play? He plays drums, but he plays everything. Hmm. Okay, so you like drummers, you like rock musicians, you like... Uh... I love music. I'm a music lover, and uh, any kind of musical talent just turns me on. I love that. And um, he's in a band called The Hoodwinks. And you guys are musicians over there? <laughs> so, <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> Always carry your harmonica with you, man. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, um, so, where did you meet this guy? Um, I was listening to his music one night at a, a bar, and he was playing. What bar? Plug him. Oh, no, the bar. <laughs> I don't remember. Someplace locally here? Yeah. He plays all, 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 all around town, all the time. Yeah. You all live together now? Mm -hmm. Plan on getting married? Oh, yes. When are you going to get married? We haven't set a date. We're kind of giving it some time and kind of, you know, making sure that that's what we want, but we're pretty certain. We're yeah. buying dogs together now, so that's a sign. That yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, when the dogs come. What's, the, what's this dog's name? We haven't decided. That she came with the name Shita. Oh, yeah. Which is Japanese because she's a Japanese dog, mm -hmm. um, which is Japanese for small, and we don't like that. So I think we'll call her Zoe or something. Yeah. Something a little sweeter. Yes. <laughs> How about Dikembe? <laughs> Kimbe, you no. got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what was your experience? on growing pains. I've heard about it twice today. Growing pains. <laughs> that was so long ago. Growing pains, growing pains. Oh, um, I was kind of like the low man on the totem pole. 
In what sense? I was basically an extra when I was on Growing Pains. Oh. And I wasn't treated very kindly, not to say that they aren't kind people, but mm -hmm. my experience wasn't pleasant. And um, so it gives me a little insight as to how the extras on our show or the atmosphere people on our show feel and makes me treat them a little bit differently, you know, because I've been there and I respect that they're there and if they weren't there, there wouldn't be a show there, so. Yeah. Do they, do they whip you? What, what do they do to the extras over there? <laughs> Does Alan think, come here! You know, it's like... Alan they... was nice. All the, the, the cast was nice, but the mm -hmm. people that were behind the scenes weren't that nice to me. Yeah. But well, they're off the air now, so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you for coming by. What's, what's in the uh, video, the, the Body in Progress thing? It's, a, it's an exercise video. It's about feeling good and, and feeling good about yourself. That's where it all starts. Do I have to have any equipment? Do I have to get one of those apple cart it's things? Body, or, or step or just a body, Oh, just a body? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Well, I guess you could do this video all night long. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> baby got body. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Check her out on the show weekly on Fox. Come back anytime. Thank you. Shaq, next.